I, I went, by the way, for two months and during the, uh, uh, during the uh, world today. Uh, what happened in 91? Independence. Independence. Uh, voting for independence. Uh, the two, uh, spent two months there, you know, see if we can be of some help and so on. And, um, and uh, so, you know, totally involved and, and trying to help where it is because I, was, I had a good position and they said, hey, we can gain something from that. And uh, uh, I had a hotel that I had, I don't know if you're familiar with Cave at all. Anyway, I had for my hotel, which is Levy, I had to walk on uh, Boulevard Shevchenko mm -hmm. to Bazaar and then along Khrushchev to you know, other to the hotel, Kiev eventually up again. And I walk along Boulevard Shevchenko and I hear now and then a Ukrainian. Very rare. Most it's all Russians. That used to bother me. That used to really bother me. But people said, well, you have to understand all this. I go after referendum, same streets, same voices, same language. And I understood. Because at that time, I said, 92% of those people voted for independence of Ukraine. So I get a little emotional about that. You know, I said, that, that really, and, sorry guys, I wake up on Sunday after referendum, spending the night, you know, in different uh, offices, listening what what's happening here, what's happening there, you know. <coughs> Especially with uh, Shatomer, there was a whole battalion or whatever you call group division of uh, Ukrainian uh, army, the old army standing there, and they were waiting for a result on the phone in around around four o'clock. They said they have the answer. You know now what happened there. And the fellow who was on the phone, you know, looked kind of sad. And he said, yeah, we've got the answer. We said, oh my God. He said, well, no, 92% voted for it. Yeah. 